Hey, hey, and welcome back to Miss Kitty's Wild West Adventures. I'm here on location at the Beshbagawa Ruins up in Globe, Arizona. And what you see behind me is the entranceway, and this is the original entranceway. And from what I'm understanding, this area was kind of like a giant warehouse where they would store items that they had received and items that they wanted to trade out. And then this would be the place where everyone would come and do their trade. So it was important to have it well protected. So come on with me and we're gonna explore Beshbagawa ruins. This historical treasure was occupied between 1225 and 1450 CE by the Salado people. Beshbagawa is a 200-room prehistoric masonry pueblo that stands as a testament to the ingenuity and adaptability of the Salado culture. The Salado were a diverse group of people who lived in the upper Salt River region of the Tonto Basin. Their culture is distinguished by its polychrome pottery, the construction of communities within walled adobe compounds, such as this one, and the practice of burying their dead rather than cremating them. The Salado were primarily farmers, utilizing both simple and complex irrigation techniques to cultivate crops such as maize, beans, pumpkins, amaranth, and cotton. In addition to farming, they also engaged in hunting and gathering and maintained extensive trade networks that reached as far as the Gulf of California and present-day Mexico. The Pueblo itself is a fascinating architectural feat, featuring multi-storied masonry room blocks arranged in clusters. These clusters are connected by long, narrow corridors or elongated plazas, all centered around a large communal plaza measuring approximately 12 meters by 27 meters. This layout highlights the communal and cooperative nature of the Salado society. As you explore Beshbagawa, you'll gain a deeper appreciation for the Salado people's craftsmanship, resourcefulness, and the vibrant culture they cultivated here in the Arizona desert. From their intricate pottery to their advanced agricultural practices, the Salado have left an enduring legacy that continues to captivate visitors and scholars alike. The area I'm standing in now is the central plaza of Beshbagawa. This would have been the cere ceremonial center of this uh, pueblo, this area. And behind me is all that's left of um, the ceremonial center inside and there are a few there were would have been a few living areas inside for various families hey come along let's go check out the ceremonial center So welcome inside. This is that building that I showed you the exterior of earlier. This is the ceremonial center of the Beshbagawa ruins, what would have been the Pueblo back then. And we're going to go look at some of the rooms that would have been living areas for various families. So come along. So each room we go in, we're learning a little bit more about this structure. So this building, it would have also been, in addition to living areas, it would have been um, each room specialized in a different craft. So the room we were just in was the beading room, and this room would have been more of textiles and weaving. And behind me, you see some of the uh, mortar and pestles. And then over here, we're gonna look at an additional living quarters. So you see in there, um, there are additional craft supplies in there. So this room to my left here, we're going to get on camera in just a minute, but they're saying that was the ceremonial heart of this village. Um, it would have had um, a stone fireplace or fire pit and something that's called a sipapu, which in native terms was the navel to the, the secondary world or the underworld. It was the heart, heart of the earth, the navel of the earth. And it's the largest excavated room in every, any Salado site.
The Sapapu symbolizes the portal through which their ancient ancestors first emerged to enter the present world. I spy with my little eye a viewer like you. Here's a, a little uh, tidbit about Beshbagawa. Pause the video if you'd like to read it, but I do want to say one thing, that Beshbagawa is an Apache word meaning place of metal. So I thought that was kind of cool. Walking around this site here, it reminds me a lot of Tuzigut. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever been to Tuzigut or if you've been to Beshbagawa or any other ruins that maybe I should check out, preferably in the Southwest. That concludes our day up here at the Beshbagawa Ruins up in Globe, Arizona. If you're ever in the area, I highly encourage you to stop by and check them out. They're really easy to find. Just plug them into any mapping program. It's only $5 and they do have a veteran's discount, so be sure to ask for that. It's open every day from about 9 o'clock until 4 in the afternoon, but double check ahead of time before you come. And in the meantime, I'll catch you on down the trail.